Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jimmy. I want to welcome you guys to this video I'm doing. I'm doing a video on Swift and I want to show you guys how to animate textures in Sprite Kit. So what you're going to need is, is textures like this. You're going to need like numbered off like one in a sequence of one, two, three, four, how many X amount of uh, textures you have. And what you want to want to do is just go to your game scene.swift. And the first thing you want to do is actually set up your ninja or your Sprite. Like so, and then down in here, and actually you want to set up your a array. This is where you're going to be storing your textures. Like so. The next thing you're going to want to be doing, I know there's better ways of doing this, but I'm just going to be using a for loop, a basic for loop for looping through the amount of textures I have. So for i in our conditional statement, we're going to be letting this be the 9. And the reason why I've chosen this is because as you can see here, run, it starts at 1 and then goes up to the greatest is 9. And so that's what I'm looping through here. And then actually what we're going to be doing here is that the texture name equal equal run underscore underscore zero zero and then put in I so we can add that to the array. And the next thing we're going to be doing is do texture array dot append. We're going to want to transform this into a string. And that put texture array. So there we go. We have set. Oops. Never mind. We don't do that. We actually want to do. Hmm. Actually, this is what we're going to want to do. XA texture, image named, then we're going to do texture name. Like so. There we have it. So we have now appended this to the array, and now we're going to want to set up your node. So the actual um, ninja, you want to want to set that up. So here is where we're going to set up our node. So we're going to do, want to do a ninja equals sk sprite node. And our initial image name is just going to be the first initial uh, texture. So it's going to be like this. Now there's actually another way to do this. You can also do um, texture array at index of zero. I guess that a string. You can also do that, but I found out that there was some errors with this, such as the red X error, and you guys probably know what that is. It's when like it, the array is out of index and it can't display your a texture so it displays a red X instead. Then we're going to set up this the position where it is on the screen. Now to get it in the center of the screen, what we're going to want to do is do self dot frame dot size dot width divided by two to get it in the middle of the width in the X direction. And it's the same for the y direction self dot frame dot size dot height divided by two. So essentially what this is doing is taking the height and dividing it by two. And so half of the height would be the middle, judging on math terms. Ninja dot size equals CG size make. I, I like to make it 200 by 200 just because just for this demonstration. 
He looks bigger and better. And the Z position, talking 3D aspects of this, the Z position on a two-day Cartesian plane, X and Y would be the 2D Cartesian plane. With the Cartesian plane in the 3D dimension, the Z position where it's facing, like, it's hard to explain, but where it's positioned to, like, back and forth. So where it is, like, in front or behind. So you can just say one. Then we're going to self add child ninja. And just for optional handling, I'm going to do if texture away dot count is greater than one. Then we'll do all of this if that's true. Okay, so the ninja code is now done. Now, to start animating, you can just do it in here if you wanted to, or you can actually do it in the touches begin. This is where I'm going to do it. And so, this is where you're going to do ninja dot run action, sk action dot repeat action forever, sk action dot animate with textures. And you want to use your texture array here. Then our time interval could be 0.1. There you have it. There's is this is the main thing that's animating your ninja. This code is what's animating your ninja. So you can go ahead and build and run this. As you can see, here's our ninja. When you click, the ninja starts animating. There you have it, guys. There is your animating textures in Sprite Kit.